So welcome to the second video where I talk about blocks and layouts and the workflow uh, and, and the sketches I've been working on to, to envision how this could work. Uh, I've Well, this is a comment to one of the wiki pages on groups.drupal.org and you can probably find it by reading the URL up here. Um, so uh, I'm going to show you in this video a simple case of how to add a page uh, with content on your site, like a front page or something. And this is a diagram with workflow, and we're gonna go through it as quickly as we can without going any uh, on any detours. And we're gonna create a page, so we're gonna start at the top. You could also start by just creating a new block that is not being displayed on any page, uh, at least to start with. And then you would start down here and just add a block, not add a page. So, uh, let's scroll down a bit. We have here case one, that's the one I'm working with now. Uh, you start by going to the uh, page, the overview of the customized pages on your site. Uh, could look something like this. Uh, and you hit add new page and block it says here. Uh, and that takes you to a page where you uh, kind of define this page. And the most important thing, the, the only required thing maybe, is the path for the page. In this case, it says something tricky. It should just say front or something if you have if you want to create the front page. So let's, this this is, uh, we'll save this for a trickier case. Just a plain path like front. Next step, when you create page and continue, you are sent into the uh, editor for the uh, the layout, the populated layout. You get the standard layout, one column layout. You don't have any block name to start with, so you should click that and, and set a unique name for this page. And then you start adding new content. And you, when you click this, you get some kind of uh, component browser. So you browse through the available components that you can add to this uh, populated layout, that you can populate this layout with. And here we have something, say, uh, view front page. If you click this, you get some kind of preview. And that would be possible in this case with this view. So you get a nice preview of, of this list. Uh, add it and then it's put into the um, populated layout here and you get its settings opened up and it has only one setting right now like uh, number of rows to display it might not even have any settings who knows but you set what you want here and click save and there you go uh, you get this uh, uh, block here the, the component with a preview in the in the editor here and that's it. Hit save block and you're done. Uh, yeah. Uh, let's see. I think I have two things worth noting. Yes. Uh, I like the workflow of uh, selecting a component and then it's placed and then you configure it because it means you can come back to this layout editor as soon as possible and that's good I think. And it also allows you to like see other things and go back and forth between your components when configuring them and that's kind of useful. You also don't risk get stuck if you uh, well if you had the configuration here on the uh, add page the, the, in the browser, component browser um, if you don't really know what you want to uh, how you want to configure it or you maybe cannot even configure it the way you want to you get stuck and have to go back. If you instead uh, just get it in here and if you haven't set it up co uh, correctly, it's broken, it doesn't display, but it's still here and you can tweak it and go back and forth. I, I think that's a, a gain here. Second thing, let's see. Yeah, the page and the block are separate. Yeah, that's kind of important. Let's look at this page here again. The customized uh, pages on the site they have paths and conditions and things, and they also have uh, some kind of content, a block or a populated layout that they call. And you can change this, so uh, at a future point in time you might want to have this front path uh, picking up something completely different as content like the login page or something, some other populated layout that you fetched. Uh, and that means these are really different, and, that, and that's the main point. So. I think you might get this already, but uh, keep the uh, pages, uh, like the path returns and, and path handlers, and the content of them separate, so you can mix them, with, uh, well, change any one of them without the other one being affected. 
Um, yeah, that's it. I'll be back in a new video with case number two in a minute or so. See you there. Bye.